What are the little green dots here? Uh, people have uh, cast their vote, if you will, about areas that they think we should avoid. In so only one person one. says we should avoid cemeteries? Because yes. they're already dead. Um, is schools in there? Schools? Yep. Playgrounds? Where do I get information about, like, how many cases of leukemia, the stray voltage or something causes, and is there information here on that? Yeah. Um, stray voltage is, I think, something different than there's what you're M talking about. There's EMT, EMF. EMF. <laughs> stray voltage. Um, and let me see if I can't find uh, a sheet about you know, are yeah, but Which one are you looking for? EMF. Or are they all? They're all by engineering. Of course they are. are. Okay, that's over here. Thank you. Anyway, you asked about sources. And, uh, uh, I'd direct you there. All right. I can't recall if this has information here, if they have it separately. I don't know. I mean, you're welcome to that, too, but I thought that might um, touch on it. I know they have information separately. Um, any initial studies about having local generation of like solar cells on everybody's roofs and the local wind power instead of having a transmission line bringing wind power from one part of the country and, to the and other? That, are you asking me a question uh, yeah is, and uh, is, maybe I'm missing the question is, is there any studies on that preceding I mean it seems like this one is just about building the power line it is and so where does it come from I mean because it's a company that wants to build the power line. Right. Okay. I'm just wondering what... Oh, yeah, well, I mean, we're in the transmission business, not in the generation business. Oh, I so, see. Yeah, so uh, no doubt there have been studies about wind generation. I mean, there are a lot of wind developers that propose wind turbine sites. I'm not honestly that familiar about what they might be doing in this area, but, you know, around Wisconsin... There are proposals from time to time to build wind turbines. Um, I live over in Appleton, and if you're familiar with, uh, oh, you know, the Oshkosh Fond du Lac area around Lake Winnebago, uh, there's a new um, uh, wind farm that's up and running down there. There are a couple to the east of Lake Winnebago. Um, a lot of those proposals... I mean, that, that's a business that seems pretty dynamic. Um, how much uh, metal and stuff does this all include compared to building local wind generating compared to the power lines that take a lot of resources, I'm sure, to build this? I'm just wondering oh, some yeah. kind of comparison of local windmills. seems like you could build a lot of windmills out of the, the materials that this is taking to build the power I, line. I mean, to the extent that there's a comparison, I mean, you know, the wind turbines are on um, steel structures as the, the pole, you know, the transmission lines are. Um, I would have no idea what the equivalent might be. I mean, the wind turbine towers typically are quite a bit higher. Um, than the transmission line. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, thank you. Yep. Anywhere in that 
1,500 feet. Well, it won't, they won't necessarily be 1,500 feet as we go through the next round of the next rounds of open houses. We will we will try to narrow that uh, narrow that down, and when it ultimately goes to the uh, to the public service commission, it would pro- it'll pro- it won't necessarily be an exact location of the line, but it'll be. You know, a couple of hundred foot wide rather than a couple of thousand foot and wide. What is the chances of why would you need this plus the new line? Because this is a this is a Dairyland Power Cooperative transmission line that goes between two substations of theirs and yeah. and is meant to provide uh, you know very localized coverage. This is a transmission. This is a bulk transmission line going between La Crosse and Madison. It's not going to have any other stops. Not going to have any stops in between. Good. So we yeah, need to. And, it, and it's a wider right of way. Not necessarily. It all depends on the design. Uh, the design of the line. What the voltage of the line is. I would think uh, this is either a 69 or a 161 because those are the only voltages they use out this way. Uh, ours is a 345, so typically a 345 kV line would have a wider right away, but we can't figure out the the, the actual width of the right away till after we design the line. It's a function of what the spacing of the poles is, uh, what the design of the poles are, to figure out how the 